So, um, so let me tell you what's not necessary. Well, let me tell you not what's not necessary in forex trading or in any tradings because people tend to talk about what's necessary in terms of the strategies or in terms of the psychologies or whatever the topics may be. So let me tell you what's not necessary in trading and that is our emotions, right? That is our emotions. Um, our emotions are what's not necessary um, to success in forex trading because when you think about it, um, no matter how excited you are, and how motivated you are and how pumped up you are uh, after refreshing yourself or after getting some technical knowledge about trading, uh, if you become emotional, that may blow everything up, right? I mean, you may not be able to follow the strategy that you were thinking or to follow, or um, you may feel that you missed the chance. Also, even after you took a trade by some like a, you know hidden secret techniques or you know that that no one else doesn't know you might right even that case right you might get lost so you might get lost not only one time but two, two times three times or more times you might get losses over time and you may be upset right at some point you may be upset right uh, you may be upset by the fact that things are not going well not going towards your direction but uh, you know think about this I want you to think about this the question is, who's wrong? Right? Who's wrong? Who is wrong in that case? Is it the one who gave you those signals, or is it the one who advised you to take those trades? No, right? Who's wrong is actually yourself. It is yourself who is making it wrong, or who think it's going wrong. Because you are the one who gets emotional. So, um, when we are trying to be, um, so let's let's talk about a business owner, right? Business owner, because almost all the psychology, right? Almost all the, um, you know, um, business mindset is, you know, around the world. So, but you know, the thing is that we're not trying to be a business owner here, right? Of a big punk company, you know, uh, where CEO pulls the company with his future views and passions and emotions. Um, like uh, within the company, those passion, motivations, right, and emotions work to to actually lead the company because that's the primary responsibility as a CEO, and that's usually what we're looking for, right? But in forex trading, in forex trading, we're not, we're not like that. We should try to become a, uh, we should, uh, you know, um, you know, try to become a CEO of a company. So. In that sense, we don't need emotions, right? We don't need emotions and we don't need passion because they don't help in the forex market. So we should not try to become a CEO of the company when you try to be successful in forex trading or stock trading or crypto trading or whatever. Um, so, so what should we do, right? What should we do? Um, what should we do to keep surviving on the market? Well. One of my answers to that is to admit the fact that we are dependent on the market. Because as soon as you place a position, whether it's a buy or sell, as soon as you place a position, it's all up to the market after that. Um, in other words, uh, as soon as you place a buy or sell, you suddenly become helpless because you're not the one who's controlling the market. So as soon as you have a passion, you become totally dependent on the market, right? And um, we don't need that, right? We, we don't need those emotions, but we need the volatility, right? We need the let volatility work for you. Uh, we need the volatility of the market in order for us to win profit. So, um, how to say it? like uh, so? Of course, uh, it's it's important, right? It's important to analyze. So I don't I don't mean to I don't mean not to analyze, all right? I don't mean to depend on luck or anything like that. I it, that's not that's not what I'm trying to say. But what I'm trying to say is that of course it's important to analyze charts and decide what to do, where to place a buy or sell, where to put the stop loss, where to uh, you know take profit. Um, you know, all these are very important, right? Ichimoku knowledge is very important too, but the essence that I'm trying to tell you today is uh, really on how you take less energy but win big.
right? Take less energy, but win big. And that should be your focus while deciding where to take trades. And also after you see the market, markets move, right, you decide what to do so that uh, you can really use the other's power or you can use the market's power to actually take it for yourself and you become a winner. Do you get it? <laughs> so I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to, you know, visualize uh, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say here. But um, so, so in that sense, right, in that sense, it may sound strange, but um, it's not like you in, you uh, you initiate actions by yourself, right? Because we need to depend on the market. So I'm saying, um, you know, I'm saying that analysis is important, right? Analysis is very important, but uh, trading is not all about analysis. But it's more like uh, you become open to the market, right? You become open to the market and accept whatever it comes, you know. Uh, this attitude of uh, market depending mindset, right, so to speak, right, is one of the most important philosophy I learned from for the last seven years of my trading experience. And also this is something that I learned from Goichi Hosoda uh, through a great tool called Ichimoku Kinkohyo. So, um, you know, when you try to control someone, for example, at the office or at your workplace or in your family, um, usually it's difficult because uh, he or she does not always agree with you and you cannot control someone and you cannot really control the market either so what's more important is to be able to uh, to be able to adjust yourself and to be able to moderate right moderate your level of confidence your level of passion and your level of uh, emotion uh, because if you go too strong then you get the payback, right? And with the same or even with bigger strengths. So you don't go 100%, right? Uh, when taking trades, right? Never go 100% positive or 100% like, you know, uh, empowered yourself. But, um, you know, just go with like 70% uh, or 60% 60, 60 of your confidence level. Uh, then you can keep trading and eventually you can win big over time. And I think this is one of the secrets uh, that's very important in forex trading because, like I said in the in the beginning, right? We're not here to become a CEO, right? And we're not here to be passionate, and we're not here to be emotional. <clears throat> and to me, right? To me, because all these are very interesting and very profound in forex trading. <clears throat> that's why I cannot quit trading because I keep learning from the market. And that's why that's how I keep learning from the market, and that's how I keep learning from Ichimoku itself too. So every time I read this original book of Goichi Hosoda, right? Recently, I have been doing a review of uh, the original book. So if you miss those videos, you can always replay those. But uh, whenever I read these books, uh, this is something that that makes very important for me, and this is what makes it so profound for me in terms of forex trading, and that's why. Um, I don't want to quit, right? Because I learn from the market all, always, all the time. Before ending this video, let me introduce one of the words from Goichi Hosoda, the original creator of Ichimoku Kinkohyo, that I think is profound. He says, It's extremely difficult to capture the beginning of a trend and we shouldn't try to capture it. When you see the market afterwards, you might think like, if I were able to place a buy at the lowest level, I could have gotten this much profit. So how can I capture the very bottom next time or very top next time? After you see a chart, you can easily think of the best possible scenario. But in a real moving market, that's not the case. As I say often at times on my lives and videos, imagine the trend as a fish and only eat the body part, you know? And forget about the head and tail because the body part is where the most delicious part, where the juice is. So don't try to capture the beginning of the trend, but instead try to capture whether the market is, is on the trend or not because that's where you can keep running the profit the most and also that's where you can be time efficient on your trades. If you liked today's video, please press the good button and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notified as I do the next live or upload a new video. Wishing you a great trade success and see you on the next live or video. Stay gold. Mata ne!